welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you a makeup tutorial on this look using the new Rose Gold Collection by Jouer Cosmetics. I did a whole review and swatch video on these products. So I'm using the eyeshadow palette, the highlighter, and the lip topper in Rose Gold today for this tutorial. It's a full face tutorial, so if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look using these new releases, then just keep on watching. Going right in with the Springtime in Paris palette, I'm using the shade Petal to set my eye primer. I already primed my eyes. And then I'm going to move into the shade Camel, and I'm using that as a transition shade with a Sigma E40 brush. And I'm just blending it out into my upper crease. I'm not worried about getting it on the outside of my eyes because I'll clean that up with concealer later. Then I spray some Fix Plus on a flat shader brush, and I'm going in with the color True Gold. And this color is a little bit more glittery. It does have some fallout, so I do have to pack on the color a couple times to get it really pigmented. But once it's on, it looks really pretty. This is my favorite shade in the palette. Then I'm using the shade Cinnamon, which is a shimmery copper color. And I just pack that on to the outer V of my eye, and I push it into kind of the outer third of my lid space so it has a more gradient effect. Then I'm going in with the shade Creme on my brow bone. It's just the lightest shade in the palette to highlight my brow bone. Then I'm using a blue Stila smudge stick on my waterline. I am going to use some blue shadows on my lower lash line as well. And then I just apply eyeliner and lashes off camera, and then I'm moving into primer. I'm using the Jouer Anti-Aging Primer, which is a really good moisturizing primer. And I'm also going to be using the Makeup Forever HD Foundation, the liquid foundation. I like using this with an e.l.f. foundation brush to get it onto my skin, and then I finish buffing it out with my Beauty Blender. I'm using the Becca Under Eye Corrector under my eyes with a flat eyeshadow brush and the Beauty Blender Micro Sponge, which I really like for corrector. And then for concealer, I'm using the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. I talked about this in my favorites. This is my favorite affordable concealer right now. And I'm using the Beauty Blender Blusher, which I love for concealer especially. It's a little bit more precise than the Beauty Blender. I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder under my eyes. I just apply it really quickly to make sure my under eyes don't crease. And the Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder all over my face. It's a little bit more illuminating, but it does give me a pretty good matte finish. I'm going into the Anastasia Contour Kit, which is an old favorite. I'm using the shade Fawn, the center shade, to contour out my cheekbones and the edges of my face. I'm also adding a little bit of my favorite bronzer, the Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer around the perimeter of my face just to soften up the contour. And then I'm moving into the shade Midnight which is that bold blue shade and I'm smudging that into my lower lash line. I'm also adding the lid color True Gold into my inner corners to make my inner corners a little bit more shimmery. I also finished my bottom lashes with the Pure Triple Threat Mascara which is one of my favorites for bottom lashes. It makes them super separated. For blush, I'm using the Girl Lactic Star Blush in Florence, which is just a peachy pink blush that goes really nice with the eye look. And for highlight, I'm using the Jouer Rose Gold Highlighter. I'm actually using it in my inner corners, and then I'm also going to be using it on my cheekbones and down the center of my face. For lips, I'm using one of my favorite lip creams from Jouer, which is in the shade Blush. It's just a really pretty neutral pink shade. And then I'm also using the new Jouer Lip Topper in the shade Rose Gold on top and mostly in the center of my lips to give it a metallic effect. And with that, this makeup look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me use the new Jouer collection. And if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.